Hi and welcome back to a, another quick demonstration of the installation process involved in installing HP ArcSight Logger version 6. Uh, without further ado I'll actually crack on with the installation process and actually run you through the whole uh, steps that are required as part of that. Um, I'm actually doing this on uh, an X-Windows interface on my Linux uh, VM that's running on my laptop here. Uh, but of course you can run it in console mode. Uh, you can actually run it uh, as a fully scripted silent install as well. It's actually documented as part of the manual set. Uh, so just go through that, set it all up, run the install and it'll have everything set and running. Uh, but what we wanted to do is actually illustrate how simple and easy the installation process is in, in, in doing this. So uh, I'm just accepting the license terms. It's checking some prerequisites which which uh, I'm actually uh, have already done it documented in the manual set as accordingly uh, set an installation folder that we want to have uh, press OK to that. It's checking the installation uh, disk space that is sufficient uh, and we've got to give it a license file which I already have so um, as long as you have the license file it should be good to go as part of the installation process. Uh, so it's in there and there's my license file uh, and go on there. You may have noticed that as part of that process I actually uh, I'm, I am logged in as a root user which is obviously not recommended as part of this process. Uh, strongly recommend that you install uh, and make use of of a non-privileged user uh, which it will actually check for in a minute as part of this process. Uh, so we're actually just going ahead uh, extracting all the relevant files. It'll install the Java runtime environment so there's no additional setup or install required for that. It's just everything included ready to go without anything extra as part of that process. So there we go, it's popped up and asked me about the uh, non-privileged user. So uh, in this case, I'm actually going to run it as the uh, ArcSight user, which is already set up, so I need to make sure that's run. Uh, and then, of course, we can set it up on a port number and to run it as a service, which we want to do. Uh, you can set a different uh, region and location and countries uh, for running this, but actually I'm just going to run with uh, the US settings. and Click Next, and it goes away and uh, carries out the install. Now, I will actually speed up this section just to show, uh, but. Um, you know, it's actually not doing anything. We're initializing everything, unpacking it, copying it to the relevant folders, setting up all the database uh, structure and format, and actually doing the pre-configuration process. The configuration steps will actually be in a second, uh, but at the moment it's actually just going to go ahead and initialize everything and get the services up and running. So there we go, it's done the initial uh, setup step, so uh, now we need to do the final configuration. So again, I will uh, speed this bit up and let it complete. And here we go, it's actually finished doing the installation process, so we'll just click done. And uh, we get a URL for access, so we can just quickly uh, access that one. There was some testing I did earlier. Uh, so let's connect to it and hey presto we got a new certificate. Uh, we do recommend actually you set up a, a correct certificate for this. Uh, this is just in the self-signed one so you should really should set that up correctly. Uh, make sure you have that one. Uh, we log in uh, using the default username and password uh, which is in the manuals and hey presto it's there. Um, the important thing here is, is actually uh, we've, uh, we've actually set up uh, a connector to send automatically to this brand new installation. No smoke and mirrors, nothing unusual, nothing uh, uh, set up on this one uh, in advance. Actually, it's just set to run. Uh, feed log data to it. It's receiving automatically. It's automatically processing all that data. Uh, and we can see uh, there's a whole lot of stuff from lots of different systems as we're feeding it in. No additional setup, nothing needed. Uh, everything's in and running. And that's the important aspect. So, shows how simple the installation process is, process is of Logger 6.0. Uh, so, thank you very much for your time.